Bill, we're here at the Crown Brewery. It's a small box brewery, never made more than 30,000 gallons of beer a year. It started out as the St. Louis, then it was the Bach, the Bauer, Smith Brothers, and then the Crown Brewing Company. But because of tax laws, which makes it even more interesting, it was on both sides of the street. That is true. To save money, they bottled here, brewed there. I got an idea. Let's go across the street and walk over top of an underground tunnel to the brewery. Let's go. Here we are in the tunnels of the Crown Brewery. And remember, this was a small box brewery, so these tunnels were a little bit smaller. But wow, it's really interesting the way they were built. They needed these tunnels to make lager beer and they could only brew beer in the winter and fall because it was still too warm at 55 degrees down here to make beer. And what about these pipes that go along the top? Well, they would push a saline solution through there, ammonia, trying to keep this as cold as possible because remember, every day they could make beer is another day they could sell their beer. What are these fireplaces and the holes in the ceiling? The holes in the ceiling gave relief to getting the carbon dioxide out of here, and these did too, but also they were hydraulic lifts to get the product up and out, and then ingeniously, through those tunnels that we'll be going through, it would pump beer to the other side. That goes back to what happened in the 1890s. The temperance movement and anti saline league started passing laws, and one of the laws was the blue laws on Sundays, where they couldn't sell beer. But they found a loophole where they could deliver bottled beer. So what this brewery did in 1890 is put a tunnel underneath the street where it could pump the beer over to Bowling Works and it could be delivered on Sundays. Some people think it was a way of getting around the tax laws because maybe the tax collectors couldn't see the beer, but I think it was a way just to get it across underneath so they could get it out to the people. Well, if anyone's interested, you can certainly buy tickets, buy merchandise, and be part of the Cincinnati Brewery Heritage tradition. We're a nonprofit. The money from these tours and from merchandise go to supporting the historical breweries of Cincinnati. Uh, you can donate online. You can buy our merchandise online. This is your opportunity to become part of Cincinnati's heritage. Thank you for your support of the Brewery District, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.